This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good morning, good morning, Gregory Kayol. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful morning? Well, uh, thanks and good morning to you too, Angel. Uh, I'd say I couldn't be doing better as the sun is uh, high and it's bright, so everything's perfect. <laughs> that's wonderful, that's wonderful. What part of the world are you in right now? In France, south of France, exactly. All right, all right. Well, it's a great pleasure to connect with you. Which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time in history? Well, it is my involvement in the, the development of the LinkedIn local community, uh, which is... Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. Have fun with it. <laughs> go ahead. Well, yeah, I was about to say that the, this community, uh, which was created, by the way, or founded, uh, would be more accurate, by uh, Anna McAfee, um, Alexandra Garvis, and uh, Ryan Troll, is uh, a community about... Uh, facilitating the connection of uh, LinkedIn users and social media users to help them engage and connect offline in person and to get to know the, the people behind the title. Hmm. It's such a great initiative. Uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, who did you uh, learn a community from? Though? Like, um, Is it something that you've grown up experiencing from your family? I'd say that as far as I'm concerned, uh, for the community part, it, it's not something that I've been, let's say, ignited by my family because they've not quite into doing networking events. You know, uh, they are a community, they are a tribe because they're very keen on uh, doing family stuff and they are very keen on connecting with people and helping people and caring about people. They are very empathetic guys, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, the real community... And networking stuff is, I mean, I'm the first one to ever attend to networking events hmm. or to uh, do it on a regular basis. So that's uh, quite new, I, I'd say. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So, I mean, I, everything is around hashtag LinkedIn local, what we're speaking about, right? Uh, how, what has your experience been like? Well, there, there's a couple of different uh, level to the answers. Uh, the first one is about how I discovered it. And the answer is I was uh, freshly arrived in London and I was alone because I was in charge of the, the brand kick of all my, um, of a French company on the UK market. And I saw an opportunity to meet great people and I did meet great people of belonging, like-minded people. Uh, I loved it and that's how I decided to, to get involved. Mm. And the, the other part of this answer is that um, I've been involved then as a host, not only as an attendee, but as a host, then as a host mentor and, you know, as a, a support to the community development. And I've kept meeting so many great people uh, every week. So <laughs> I, I really love the concept. I love it. Tell us about the consultant side of what you do, please. So uh, last year, a bit more than a year ago now, uh, I've decided to let the corporate because uh, I've realized that the, 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 what we were doing with the community stuff and LinkedIn and the digital and everything was really needed. Uh, so uh, now I help companies, you know, um, design and implement um, business development strategies, okay, uh, and, and model. Uh, how can I say, put it in English? You know, when you have to modelize something, so you design the strategy, you modelize all of this, you build your fun funnel, digital funnel, and you implement it, uh, for example, through uh, social media platforms. And the idea is to first increase your uh, brand awareness, then your brand engagement, then increase your revenues, and then um, rationalize or optimize your cost structure because of the way you work uh, with automation and scalability, thanks to the digital tools you use. Mm. Yeah, it sounds as though you're moving individuals through the birthing process to, to being an adult, uh, if I had to say it metaphorically, yeah, in the business world. 
Well, uh, I've never put it that way, but that's a, a nice way to see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Consistently over the last three years, uh, I'd say. Well, what do you mean personally, professionally, yeah, as a hobby? Let's do personally. Yeah. Personally, uh, I'd say personal development. You know, uh, watching myself, monitoring myself, trying to understand uh, how I work, what are my fears, my insecurities, what are the, the, the mind roadblocks, mm-hmm. where do they come from, how can I unlock them, uh, how can I grow personally, how can I progress, because uh, that's that's one of my favorite topics, progress. Mm, yeah. progression love that yeah it's one of my favorite words like i say progress all the time like uh someone says how are you doing it's like progress uh, how does it make you feel it makes me feel whoa that's a question i've never uh, thought of before um it makes me feel great because the more i i learn about myself and about the human um brain and the, the, the psyche and the mind and everything, the more confident and healthy and well-being I am, you know. But uh, on the other hand, the more you learn about yourself, the more you, you kind of discover or acknowledge how far from the truth, from, from sorry, the truth and from uh, the, the awakening or the, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the yeah. truth complete wisdom you are hmm. love it love it so just to someone that's listening why they should do that why they should consider uh increasing uh the inputs when it comes to personal development oh i'm sorry i i, I didn't get uh the sure, first half of sure. the question it's, it's you're good it's we understand uh, your your english is not the first language you speak right and then i am caribbean english as well right <laughs> you're good you're good all right well suggest to someone that's listening why they should do that why they should consider doing more personal development in their life oh because that's that's quite hard to explain, but I've been working on a way to explain it for a while, so I'll try to put it that way. Sure. I think that in the way the mind and the brain work, uh, and the, the culture and our education and everything we've learned and everything we, we, we are based on because of our um, experience and everything in our, um, well, let's say we tend to think that the things we see or we hear have a meaning. Uh, but the truth is the more you learn about yourself, about others, about communication with others or with yourself, or about how to think, about how to, to live, the more you realize that most of the meanings you've uh, given to things during all your life or throughout all your life uh, were wrong. And the actual truth is currently, or actually, sorry, the, quite the opposite of what you are seeing. Let's say... Uh, someone is bullying you, uh, you would tend to think that you are not good enough. Well, I've never been bullied, but that's, uh, you know, something I, I guess that can resonate with many people. So let's say you've been bullied. You, you will tend to think that you are not good enough and that you are, um, sorry for the term, I don't have anything yet, but a, a shitty person. Mm-hmm. And that makes you, that can make you feel bad. But the truth is, that if you take a step back and you, you, you get the bigger picture and you get some perspective, what you will learn about the situation is that the person in front of you is dealing with her or his insecurities and that because this person is not feeling comfortable enough with herself or himself, she or he needs to bully other people to uh, reassure themselves, okay, to be in a position where they have power. And Quite often, the people that will be bullied are people that uh, have something these people don't have. It's When you threaten someone, people tend to lash out to you because you threaten them. And when you l- realize that you are threatening people, and that's the reason why you are being uh, targeted. You realize, that's, you realize that it's not because you're weak, but because you have some strength in you. And that changes a lot. Mm, well said, Gregory. Well said. All right. Amazing audience. Again, you're hearing it live from Gregory Kyle 
Oh, such a pleasure. Love the wisdom nuggets. Love the wisdom nuggets. Let's switch gears for a moment, though, Gregory. Let me invite you now into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Gregory, what is your earliest childhood memory? Um, I was four, and I was playing with a blue, uh, a blue, not an uh, orange, apologies. How do you call, you know, this, uh, it's not a car, but it's a vehicle you use when you're a farmer, you know, to, to do, to, 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 to a tractor. Oh, reap and sow. A tractor. A tractor, that's yeah. it. Thanks. So <laughs> okay. I was playing with an orange tractor uh, just beside a tree in a, in a beautiful garden. It was the weekend, Saturday, and we were at um, the, some friends of my parents, you know, place. Hmm. And it was the summer during the holidays. And I was like, yeah, I said four. <laughs> uh, and it's a lovely memory. Why do you think this memory is so clear? I think everything is related to emotions. Uh, our brain pick up the moment with uh, high intensity in terms of emotions. Hmm. And I was having a bliss. It was one of the best times of my life because I wasn't worried about anything. I was just relaxed. I was there in the present moment and I was enjoying it incredibly. Hmm. How do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Your headsets well, are just moving a bit too much on your body. I think it's, it's just scratching you or something. Just oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I, will, hold I, I will hold it with my hand. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. How do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? That's a, cre uh, um, a challenging question. Never thought of it before. Uh, I'd say it has maybe maybe it's the root for uh, my interest in nature and the, the way I can uh, get a refill of energy and good vibe when I'm when I'm on the edge on edge. Sorry, what I do is I go in nature or in the mountains or in the forest and I go for a hike and things just get better. <laughs> mm, that's super cool. Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind with that memory? Oh yeah, please do. From our conversation, I love the fact that uh, if one focuses on themselves, uh, we could we could definitely sum it up to a person being like that tractor. Uh, a tractor can be a vehicle for transportation. However, it can also be a vehicle that helps one harvest or reap or even plant, right? Like the beginning process of the planting. Uh, and I think it's really intriguing because it can be used to plow the land. And then, uh, of course, it could be used to cut the, the grass and whatnot and all sorts. And I find it really intriguing that within the community, uh, that is something when honed, is very possible to do right for you where you can help set up communities create the foundation that's necessary for for planting oh i really love the way you put it <laughs> yeah. I, I buy it <laughs> he says i buy it i've never heard that one <laughs> no, that's a french uh, modism and expression yeah, which yeah. means i love that yeah i love it love it i'll buy it <laughs> all right my friend if we fast forward to when you were 12 what was your favorite song uh, that's a, uh, that would be hard to answer with just one song. So I'd say uh, Sugar Sugar, Baby Vash, right. uh, Bonnie and Clyde, uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z, um, Breathe, Blue Country and Sean Paul. Uh, I think there was a couple other ones, but uh, I yeah, don't remember. You told me yeah. ever, ever since as well, Bring Me to Life. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I think there was... One last one, but well, it's not that important. So let's just. <laughs> no, it's cool though. I, I love how you put that in there. So he, he, like, like, yeah. Greg said, you know what? I can't put one here. <laughs> oh yeah! Now I remember. The other one was me against the music, Britney. Okay, Love it. All right, my friend. Well, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? Yeah. Greg, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Chosen? Yeah. Uh, I'd me. say my yeah. sister. All right, all right. Are you married? Nope. Do you have children? Nope, do not you, yet. Do you believe in God? 
uh, I believe in something, not necessarily God. I, I don't know what I believe in, but I believe in something. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yep. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. <laughs> How about three hours a week? Yep, definitely. What about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Uh, do we talk, yeah, professionally included? Yes. Uh, more than eight hours a day, definitely. All right. Greg, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, what would you say that is? Stop being afraid of uh, rejection and judgment. Uh, as long as you are not free from this fear, you will never be yourself. You will always try to fit in. You will always try to please people. And as long as you will do it, you will not be yourself and you will waste your time. Life is a waste of time if you're not who you really are. Love it. And if you don't live for yourself. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Gregory, this was such a great pleasure. Thank you, my friend, for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much for this really nice moment together. Yeah, I appreciate it as well. It was a pleasure I treasure. Gregory Kyle, thank you again for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.